Is tea really an English invention? And do tea bags truly lack quality? Find out as we unravel these tea myths and more in part one of our tea myth series. Myth 1. The English are renowned for their love of tea, but did you know that tea didn't originate in England? In fact, it hails from the distant lands of China, where it's been enjoyed for thousands of years. Fun Fact 1. Tea was discovered in China around 2737 BC, according to legend, when Emperor Shen Nong's servant accidentally let some tea leaves blow into a pot of boiling water. Talk about a happy accident. Myth 2. Have you ever thought that tea bags are of lower quality compared to loose leaf tea? Well, that's a myth. High quality tea can be found in convenient tea bags too. Fun fact 2. Thomas Sullivan, an American tea merchant, accidentally invented the tea bag in 1908 when he sent out samples of tea in silk bags. His customers didn't realize they were supposed to remove the tea from the bag and, just like that, the tea bag was born. Myth 3. It's commonly believed that green tea packs more caffeine than black tea, but the truth is that it's usually the other way around. Black tea tends to be higher in caffeine content. Fun fact 3. On average, a cup of black tea contains 40 to 70 milligrams of caffeine, while a cup of green tea typically has 20 to 45 milligrams. It's all about the processing method. Myth 4. Some say that drinking tea can dehydrate you, but that's not entirely accurate. Tea is primarily water, so it contributes to your daily fluid intake. Fun fact 4. It's true that tea has caffeine, which is a diuretic, but the water content outweighs the dehydrating effect. So, your favorite brew can still help keep you hydrated. Myth 5. Have you ever been told that adding milk to your tea is unhealthy? Well, it's more about personal preference. Milk can actually be a delightful addition and doesn't necessarily make tea less healthy. Fun Fact 5. In the 17th century, when tea was first introduced to England, milk was added to protect fine porcelain cups from cracking due to the hot tea. A tradition that stuck around. Myth 6. While tea has a wealth of health benefits, it's not a magic potion that cures everything. Enjoy it as part of a balanced lifestyle. Fun Fact 6. Ancient Chinese medicine often prescribed tea for various health issues but it was just one component of a holistic approach to wellness. Myth 7. It's widely believed that tea plants are exclusive to Asia, but that's not entirely accurate. While Asia is the primary hub, tea is also grown in Africa, South America, and even parts of the United States. Fun Fact 7. The largest tea plantation in the continental United States is located in Charleston, South Carolina, where they produce a unique American-grown tea. Myth 8. There's a common misconception that herbal tea isn't real tea because it's not made from the Camellia sinensis plant. But, these delicious infusions are often referred to as tea and have unique flavors and health benefits. Fun Fact 8. The term, tisan, is used for herbal infusions that don't contain tea leaves. So, while herbal teas aren't technically tea, they're certainly part of the tea-drinking world. Myth 9. You might have heard that tea bags can be reused multiple times, but doing so can reduce the flavor and quality of the tea with each use. Fun Fact 9. While reusing tea bags is possible, it's best suited for certain types of tea, and you might have to adjust your steeping time for subsequent brews. Myth 10. Some believe that tea is caffeine-free. In reality, most traditional teas contain caffeine, although the caffeine content varies. Fun Fact 10. An average cup of black tea contains about half the caffeine of a cup of coffee, making it a great choice for a moderate caffeine boost. And there you have it, part one of our exploration of tea myths and the fascinating facts that go with them. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the world of tea. Stay tuned for part two where we'll debunk more myths and uncover more tea secrets. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay steeped in all things tea. Until next time, happy sipping.